Welcome to 35mm. This is an adventure game where two people travel around Russia, exploring the abandoned villages and cities and countryside after some mysterious global epidemic has happened. So humanity's mostly been wiped out. I've heard pretty mixed things about this game. A lot of people saying it's pretty slow and not much happens, but it seems like a kind of slow, ponderous, atmospheric thing, which honestly is right up my alley. And you get a camera, hence the name 35mm, and you get to take pictures. That's like totally my thing. So let's jump into it with the new game. В доме ничего нет. Осмотрись сам, если хочешь. Need to check my inventory tab. I can use a first aid kit, food, and batteries with a double click. So. Right now I've got one food, and for my inventory I have a camera, a knife, and a flashlight. Whoops. It's my camera. There's my knife. And my flashlight. So I've played for just a couple minutes, just this very beginning area, just messing around with the controls a little bit to get familiar with it. I haven't moved beyond this house. In fact, I never even explored it, so let's go check it out. <laughs> some people have spent some serious time here. Just a pile of cigarette butts. It's pretty much impossible for a game like this not to remind me of Stalker. Because it's super atmospheric, some horrible calamity has happened, and it's set in Russia. Can I read notes? Those look like they should be readable. Seems like the only way to use anything is to press E or enter. Opens and closes the drawer, but I can't actually read the thing. Maybe I'll just take a picture of it? Yeah, I'll read it later. When I get those developed. Where do you get film developed in the wasteland? Well, it's not really a wasteland, actually. The environment looks fine. I think it's just the people that died. Whoa. I could pick the whole thing up? Huh. Could use that as a stepping stool. Not that I need... Oh, wait. Oh, hold on. Alright, let's look around first. Looks like there's something hidden up there. I didn't know this was a thing. Like, movable objects. Ooh, batteries. Huh, and he said that nothing's here. Didn't look hard enough, buddy. Yeah, it's already eaten food, not a new can that I can take. Okay, Let's see what's up here. Oh, yeah, that should do. Then maybe put this on top, I don't know. Uh oh. Uh, 
Sure. What did I just get? Oh, another food. Nice. I don't think there's anything else up there. I think it's just some garbage? It's hard to tell. I could take a picture. <laughs> Can I take a picture while I'm jumping? Heck yeah. I have no idea how to view them. Uh, it doesn't seem to be... Well, could it be... No, it's not info. The photographs taken by you on camera are shown below. Below? What do you... Below where? Okay. Well, they're somewhere. I'm just gonna trust that they're somewhere. there's going to be enemies. I mean, I know it's definitely not combat focused. That I'm sure of, but I have a knife. I wonder if we'll get attacked at some point or if this is just for other stuff. Cutting ropes or whatnot. I should probably follow my buddy. There's stuff over here. Do you think they'd mind if I just went off the beaten track and went to loot? It looks like they stay put. Okay, let's go explore. I guess they're not going to come with me. Nope. Nope, they're staying put. This was a garden. I think. Battery. Car battery. Hope no one is home. Looks unfriendly. open the doors or anything. More food? Oh, I guess the food takes multiple forms. It's not just one generic, like, type of food. Rather, there's a bunch of different types of food that all count as the same kind of food, just a unit of food. That looked like a jar of, I don't know, something pickled, maybe. Like pickled vegetables. Nice. Okay, this one's readable. We have been on the road for about three hours. On the way, we met inhabited settlements, but didn't have the guts to get inside. A mile from here, our car had a flat tire, so we had to leave it and get away from the road. We waited a few days in the house. So quiet around. Just a couple of empty houses and that's it. But yesterday we heard shots in the forest and rushed to get away from here. Did you notice that when I first picked this up and started reading it, there was a little flash and a little noise on the screen? Reminds me a little bit of the Metro series. 
where you hear that little sound, and I think you also get a flash on the screen when you do the, the sort of bonus stuff that affects the ending. I wonder if that's the case here. Oh my god, there's so many buildings. Uh, does my partner mind if I just leave them for like an hour? Do not go... Do not need to go far. Can't go this way at all? Okay. Let's head back to our friend. I think I ran out of breath. I can't sprint anymore and I'm kind of huffing and puffing. Guess you have some sort of a stamina system. I like that there's no HUD at all. Just completely clear, completely open. I wonder when I need to eat food. I must have it for some reason. It's gotta be something. That happens like you lose energy, you can't sprint as long or something. So there's no point in trying to go super far, right? It's just gonna prevent me from going anywhere, because this looks like a path. That could lead to something eventually. Butterflies. Oh, come on. I probably have limited film, right? Doesn't say anything about that, but... I mean, it's not a digital camera. I think I can look around. My teammate will catch up to me. Okay. Let's try going deeper into the forest. Oh, the whole soundscape changed so much. bit concerned. I really don't know if there's combat in this game at all. Like if there's any physical dangers to you. I know it's not a combat focused thing again, but could still have some encounters. Mushrooms.
That must be the car we heard about in the note that we found in that house over there. They... I forgot exactly what happened. Ran out of gas or battery or something. And they abandoned it. Hid out in the house for a little while. It's a picture right there. Oh, there we go. I was just in the way. Stopped it from opening. Does that count as food? I think so. So, I'm wondering what what the critical path is. Is it further down that way? It looks like it, because they're kind of looking in that direction, sort of. I obviously want to go back and explore the other fork in the road. I hope it'll let me. Looks like maybe a radio tower or something over there. I see it silhouetted against the sky. By the way, I think eating food removes your exhaustion when you sprint too much. So it might not be technically required, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, like right now, I'm too tired. I accidentally ate two, by the way. And, oh, never mind. It doesn't remove your exhaustion. Someone tied their backpack up on a rope. Keep it away from animals, probably. Um, I could... Okay, this is probably what the knife is for, right? Aha! Отлично. Great. What did I just get? Oh, look at that. There's a fly on my journal. That's so cool. I think I got one food and one med kit. Wait, medkit? Doesn't the presence of medkit suggest that I'm going to get hurt? Hmm. Not gonna be climbing this. Back to the path? I've got a feeling it's about to cut me off and not let me go any further. Yep. Okay, back to the road. This is such a lonely, solitary experience. It's really moody. Let's go the other way. Oh. Well, this is telling a story, isn't it? These are, uh, what are they called? Caltrops or something? So someone set a trap, they threw these down, and this is probably what, I guess, it must have been pop tires on the car. So the car must have come from this direction, drove over them this way. Hmm. Well, if it was a trap, which it, I mean, it almost certainly is, why would these be here by accident? Then it might be an old trap or something, because the people sounded like they'd hid in the house over there for a couple days. So it's not like somebody was waiting in the woods just behind a tree and saw the car pop its tires and then go after them. That is so cool that I just got a little bit of the story just from going down the road. I should take a picture of these. Come on, buddy. Huh, 
I guess there's sometimes where it takes a picture for you. I didn't move or do anything there. That was a cutscene. You were a hollow journalist? No, it's just a hobby. Power lines. Someone once said that the camera is a small time machine. It allows you to plunge into the past, to remember and to feel the emotions that accompanied us during that period of life. Although sometimes it's extremely painful, but it's good that there's such a possibility. This is a new type of plant. Can I cut this? Ah. Okay, that's giving me hope that I'm not going to need to fight anything. Oh, that's why I was hearing a water noise. I was stepping in a little puddle. Dog? <gasps> hey! Hey, смотри. It's a good boy. Привет, пёс. Yeah. Can I feed you? Do you want to join us? Oh. Okay. Bye. I can't go here. But there's a building right here, I'm so close. Eh. Okay. That's a scarecrow, right? Right? Oh, thank God. Jesus Christ. That scared the shit out of me. Fuck, I thought Slender Man was in this forest or something. <sighs> oh. Mm, I don't like the framing on that one. I wish I could look through the viewfinder to really see what it's going to look like before I take the picture. There we go. That's better. <laughs> That's such a brilliant little detail. 
You know that was put there just to scare the hell out of you. And it worked. Oh, is this a, it's a branch in the pathway. Let's see what's this way. Ooh. Little pond. Here for frogs. Don't see him though. No way, not into infected water. Infected just because it's like stagnant and kind of nasty or is it infected with whatever plague swept across the planet? little pathways that just all kind of join up. Okay, this doesn't sound good. Hmm. <gasps> I'm following you, buddy. God, I want to look behind me, but... Mm, let's not. Oh, I'm going to run out of stamina pretty soon, right? I can't run for that long. There's a building up here. Please don't run out of stamina right before the door. Faster, please. I didn't know they had a gun. Wow, everything looks weird. Uh, what happened? Wasn't I fine? The hell happened to me? Can open every damn drawer. I don't care. Oh, I wish I had my camera with me. That'd be a good picture. Why don't I have my camera with me? Am I playing the same character? And I've just lost all my stuff? I can't take anything out. I know that's probably old blood, but it kind of looks like somebody spilled their coffee on the door. It's a body. I see flies, I think. Oh, God. Today is the fifth day of hospitalization. The wards are crowded with patients. According to hectic and erratic actions of doctors, they are in panic and don't know what to do. They wear respirators and someone even gas masks. I, I think the person who made this game, or who wrote it anyway, um, doesn't have English as their first language, by the way. I noticed that just from the description of the game. 
was a little bit strange, so it seems like that's carried over into the notes. I'll try to correct over it as much as I can while reading it. They give us some medicine, but it brings no benefit at all. No procedures are carried out. Half of the medical equipment is not working. Apparently it was stolen long ago and wasn't updated, as, it usu as, as usually happens here. They don't let us communicate with relatives. We get no information at all. They say that the epidemic happened not only in our city. Furthermore, not only in our country. Hope things will be alright. I wonder if this is one of the... Uh, this is probably my character, but maybe a flashback. Maybe they're one of the lucky few that they woke up in this hospital after being hospitalized along with practically every other human being on the planet for the plague, the epidemic, but somehow they survived. So I'm, I've just woken up in this hospital obviously all alone. Everyone else has died. But for some reason I lived. I think that's what this is. I wish I had my flashlight so I could see them better. Like, I can't tell if they're just bodies that have rotted, or if the epidemic caused them to look like this to some degree. Reminds me a little bit of 28 days later. Remember when the main character wakes up in the hospital and everyone's gone. I don't remember if they find bodies, though in the hospital, or if it's just completely deserted. I think it's deserted. In this case, there's bodies. Also, there's someone coughing down there, so someone's alive. Keep receiving numerous messages. According to the latest data, there are large traffic jams on the tracks. People are trying to something something, minimize contact with others. Uh, local authorities are doing everything possible to normalize the situation. As we know, most district hospitals are already overcrowded, and the remaining hospital beds are not so easy to get. However, the positive dynamics of the treatment is not observed. Volunteers recommend to stock up on provisions and stay at home as, as much as possible. When you notice the first symptoms of the disease, you should limit contact with relatives until you can clarify the diagnosis. We will continue to broadcast in order to keep you in the loop on developments. Oh, it's such a tease that there's written notes that look like other written notes, but these you can't read. I'm thinking the person coughing is maybe our buddy. Maybe... Us and them were the, were the only ones left alive in this hospital, so we teamed up. Aww. Is that one of the doctors? I think it might be. Look like they're wearing a sort of lab coat. They definitely don't look like a patient. They've got full uh, pants on, which none of the patients do. There's still power. Medical history. Nikolev V.S. Date of birth. Mar really? March 8th? Oh, wait a minute. If it's March 8th, that's my birthday, but actually the date format is probably day, month, year, right? Not the ridiculous American format of month, day, year. In which case, it's not March 8th. Patient entered in bad condition with symptoms of hemorrhagic fever. He had been made 
to drain the liquid from the abdominal cavity. After a series of interventions, the patient got better. His own immune system became active, which is not common for this type of disease. A month later, the patient recovered completely and got a 100% resistance to the virus. Wait, so is this me or someone else? Oh, another page. Rostov's... Rostov's Sev. Rostov Sev? AP, date of birth. Uh, came here June 14th, 2012, unconscious with signs of the acute hemorrhagic fever. Temperature of 38.9. He was treated during two months, but with no signs of improvement, he's been sent to the sector of support of comatose patients. Such a grim place, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's how we met. A couple of the very few people who are immune. Может, все же поведаешь, с какой целью мы путь держим. It's hard to read the subtitles when the fire is behind it. Um, I kept my word, the rest doesn't matter. Okay, it's your choice. People began to die. No one could even imagine that everyone's, everything's going to end like this. No one was ready for it. The Earth's population has decreased uh, times, seemingly. Wait, there will be more space there. It will become cleaner, but no. The man turned out to be so wild and not adapted that he can't... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not even sure how to read this. Be good to bring water from the well. We need food. Is that Michael? Yeah. Yeah, sorry, the, the English was so broken that I really just didn't know how to actually make sense of it quickly enough. Before the subtitles would just continue on, so I, I just stopped. But just to summarize, in case you had this on in the background, they were just talking about how things were when the epidemic started. Looting and kind of like pandemonium and people. Uh, like stealing cars and stuff to get to the hospital the fastest, only to realize that the medicine didn't even work. Oh, this is such a wonderful scene. I love the light from the fire. Casting shadows. This definitely needs a picture. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. I certainly have. It's definitely got some issues. The biggest for me so far is... Well, the biggest two for me so far would be the language issue. Definitely some not very good writing, in, just in terms of translation. Makes it hard to read. And also, I wish it was clear about when 
the direction you're going is just going to end in uh, an invisible wall so that I didn't have to walk all the way there to find out that I just need to walk back. I appreciate the slow pace. I don't mind it at all. I kind of like it, but yeah, it just feels... It feels bad to be sometimes rewarded for adventuring and other times basically punished with wasting my time. But aside from that, I'm really enjoying it. So I hope you enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.